Welcome to Ekimom channel. Now I will be explaining how to pass HTML data and show it properly in Swift. So from the JSON if we get string in format of uh, HTML tags then how to show it properly I will be explaining. So here I just created a project and in view controller I have added a scroll view in that I will be adding a label so in this label I'll be passing the HTML data and show it as a normal content so like this I have created a label in the scroll view and give the number of lines as zero and here I have created an outlet for that label as HTML label So now let's create a variable for the string which contains the HTML data. So I'm just opening the Swift tutorial and just seeing the source code of it and copying the HTML code of it. So just copy. Here I have pasted but you see there were many uh, escaping characters are there so I have added string literals to it even though it has multi lines so I have added triple quotes but to make sure it supports the multi lines as we know that for multi lines we need to give a first line as a new line so I just need to make sure the first line is the new line so now the error is gone now let's assign the string value to the label now run the simulator and check you see the text which we have taken has html tags when we assign the text directly it is showing whole text as it is but it is not in readable format so let's write the extension for the string now let's create a computed variable of ns attributed string type which is only get a type computed property now let's get the data of the attributed string using utf8 so here I had written garlic and after that uh, write the do cache blocks. As it is optional, I'm returning nil in the case we won't be getting the string. Like in catch or else, I'm returning the nil. So here in the do block, let's write uh, try and then let's create ns attributed string or passing data options and attributes. So here as we got the data of the string here so i'm passing the data of it and in options we need to pass the dictionary of the key value page here in the place of document type i'm passing and this attributed string document type of html and encoded type as we have encoded in the format of utf8 we need to pass string dot encoded type of utf8 so now let's run and check it here we must give the utf8 or raw value as for character encoding we need to give the value as the number so i had changed it to the raw value and let's run it now let's write the if let block uh, just to make sure that uh, after converting into the html attributed string it contains a value so i had written a uh, if let block here and let's run it and check it out now you can see the total structure of the text which we passed with the uh, html tags see all the list and headings and everything is looking like the uh, text we have seen in the web so like this we need to pass the uh, simple html strings using the simple attributed string code uh, if it is something complex and you need to do modifications through code you need to do that 
so i'll be showing you an, another project which i have done with the html parsing here i have uh, used the mvc architecture and uh, i have the json file with multiple keys uh, like uh, question and answer type and uh, for that uh, uh, i am just uh, getting the uh, json data and parsing it to the respective models here uh, here for the model i have used the codable so here i have used the decodable as encodable is not required so just passing the keys of it and uh, decoding it and uh, here when you see the view controller here we have a table view in the table view cell you have a question answer and the bottom uh, upward answer and share buttons were there and here i have created the outlets for it and uh, so for the table view i had given the estimated height for the dynamic height and in self rotate index path you can see i'm just getting the data from the data manager and assigning it to the respective index path to draw to the questionnaire and uh, here you can see uh, replace src uh, as we have images here uh, image tag does not contain the width so due to that it was exceeding the uh, length of the device so for that i just replaced it with the width tag so j let's just run it and check it out so now you can see the question and uh, either the question or answer contains an image and uh, i have divided each and every question and answer with the problem tag so like this even images are there in the html content also uh, we can just uh, show it in a attributed uh, label we don't require any image view here if it is more required to have a specific uh, constraints and all then you need to get it the url and uh, assign it to the specific image i have added both the projects to my github repository you can find it in html pass and two projects are there uh, if you like my tutorials please like share and subscribe techie mom channel